yes good evening students so we'll start the class in few minutes of time let's everyone join in first okay we'll start the class in few minutes of time let's everyone join in first So let's wait for a few minutes for everyone to join and then continue. Uh, yes. Good evening, Mr. Harshvardhan. Please kindly mute yourself. Yes, and we are waiting till six five. Okay, and then we'll start. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, Sumaya. Okay, students. So I think in the last session, what we have covered up. So we have started with a very basic concept regarding communication in the last session. Okay, we have started with the. process of communication in the context of organization then we have discussed the various components of the communication process that is starting from the sender receiver encoding decoding messages effectiveness channelization receiving decoding and feedback mechanism i think so i'm just do i'm doing one thing i'm just muting everyone okay if you have any doubt you can raise your hand Okay, that would be far better because it's really disturbing in between. At someone unmute in between suddenly. Okay, so I'm muting everyone. If you have any query, you can raise your hand. Then I think uh, we have completed after that about the feedback, the importance of feedback. We have also discussed about the functionality of communication, written communication, spoken communication. We discussed in the context of that case study of Mrs. Jan, Jan Lee. I think we discussed in the last cases. and regarding rodriguez okay so that what we have done in the previous session for today session we have to discuss regarding the business and other styles of communication we will complete that then we'll discuss about the various barriers of communication along with that we will also discuss the objective of business communication one case study which i have already shared so we will try to cover up as many content as possible we can complete before proceeding further i have also given you one task before coming to this class okay so how many of you have completed that because i have received i think from sumaya and a few more student definitely have submitted that raksha yes raksha i am just unmuting you just a minute yes raksha yes sir i have shared it to you uh the today's activity yes you were absent yesterday i think No, I was present yesterday. Okay, okay, okay. I thought you were absent. 
okay, yes, okay. <laughs> yeah perfectly fine perfectly fine it is much more like conclusive and uh, you could say descriptive and in the patches what actually we were expecting from the students okay very good work very good work raksha okay so what about today's activity raksha that is uh, the text of an email to a friend yes please so today's activity i haven't seen below is the text of an email to a friend about a business trip to germany uh, uh, sir this one only i have written it to yeah. you this is the today's one actually yes yeah yeah that's sorry today's one, one. yes you, that yesterday's activity you didn't complete actually that is about no that, uh, yeah go on perfect no worries no worries Chalice. Okay. okay so so business trip to germany you have mentioned yeah that is perfect raksha thank you so much so i think uh, mr anuj let me unmute him i think so because he is the one who always mr anuj i have unmute i am muted everyone today okay because in between there a lot of disturbance actually that's the reason so if you have any query you can raise your hand okay sir good evening yeah good evening good evening mr anuj okay thank you so much so let's start student i think so first of all we will discuss regarding this particular topic that is the activity which i have submitted you so how many of you have completed because i have received only one the activity was below is the text of an email to a friend about a business trip i think this activity is already mentioned on my slide as well yeah this is activity actually the text of an email to a friend about a business trip to germany what would you need to change in order to make it acceptable as a brief business report okay under this i had a fantastic trip to berlin last week host kun the guy i was doing business with was great and we got a really well he took me to this amazing restaurant on evening for dinner and then on to a club where we met up with some of his friend the business side went well too his company is very interested in a joint venture with us to supply financial software to bank and other financials uh, across europe host reckons that with our complementary market that do a lot in the eastern europe while we were particularly strong in scandinavia france and holland we could clean up if we joined forces the terms has suggested were a bit tricky that he is a persiasi guy and was trying to get me to agree to them having a 60% share but i stuck to my guns and managed to persuade him as to ask his board to consider equal shares there's still a lot of work to do but i think we will get a really good deal out of this at the risk of blowing my on trumpet i reckon i am capable of getting our board to take this idea seriously that was basically the uh, you could say the journey or the communication between the two parties now you have to actually mention the necessary changes i think one response is a very fantastic submission which have which is given by raksha actually let me read that i think the one response which i have got for this she mentioned that report business trip to germany submitted on 9th of june 2021 introduction which is submitted i had business trip to berlin last week met host kun a guy with whom i have i am a business partner and wanted to have a joint venture with our company to supply financial software to banks and other financial institution across europe had a business talk about the shares to be purchased equally and getting this good deal we will have a work board to take this idea on roll immediately okay now she has actually mentioned and she has just transferred this particular submission in different point i think i'll just uh, i'm just sharing the your answer raksha with everyone okay so i think it might help them to understand exactly yes i'm just mentioning i'm just sending the submission of raksha to everyone okay and i sent it as well so if you can see that how precisely she has written down each and everything in patches okay in the groupings we can say she has mentioned the background about that she mentioned the findings as well and conclusion as well this is the way how we need to write down or what are the correction which we need to make in a email where things should be clearly visible things should be clearly uh, visible we can say to the individual so that may be the part of your we can say uh in this particular email activity i think one more response i have got uh, from one minute yes i hope this is from raksha actually not by me okay 
so so maya i think you also submitted that might be yeah so maya again the same thing which i want to tell you actually because you need to submit in the paras how raksha has submitted okay this is the one of the way how we can actually present our written communication okay everyone i hope so is it clear हाँ जी सो आई थिंक Okay, students. So I think this is the one of the fantastic way how we need to complete that activity. Is there any input from any other student, please? You can raise your hand. We can unmute you. I think. Let me unmute. I think far better because otherwise class won't be interactive. Actually, okay. I have unmuted everyone. Yes. Yes, sir. You give me the inputs because might be uh, some points have been missed or. Ah uh, no no, Raksha. It's completely correct. Okay, sir. हाँ जी हाँ जी थैंक यू सो मच आई थिंक रियली वेल वेल हाउ वी नीड टू गो फॉर द रिटर्न कम्युनिकेशन हाउ इट शुड बी इफेक्टिव एनी दर इनपुट प्लीज रिगार्डिंग दिस क्लास एक्टिविटी विच आई गिवन इट टूडे ओके गाइस सो सो बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग फर्दर आई हैव गिवन यू वन एक्टिविटी फॉर सैटरडे इज वेल दैट यू नीड टू प्रिपेयर इन एडवांस ओके बिकॉज टूडे इज वेन्सडे ओनली सो थर्सडे फ्राइडे यू हैव थ्री डेज ऑफ टाइम टू प्रिपेयर यू हैव टू चूज एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू आर फैमिली विथ एंड प्रिपेयर एड डायग्रामेटिक प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ इट्स कम्युनिकेशन नेटवर्क okay analyze and evaluate the strength and limitation of the company's management information system means how exactly the structure is what mode of communication they follow that may be vertical communication horizontal communication cross chain communication which we have according to that you need to explain that what the, what uh, what exactly the meaning of that communication network and how we can analyze the strength and what are changes which you need to incorporate in those networks as per your analysis okay so that activity you need to complete in word file please it's very very important okay everyone the saturday activity fine guys let's start now yes sir yeah thank you so much so we are starting with the content now that is the business and other styles of communication and i have a humble request please from everyone don't unmute yourself in between okay unnecessarily okay if you have any query if you want to discuss something definitely you can but it's quite disturbing actually in between okay guys so when we are discussing about the business and the literary okay as that as we told as i as i think we discussed in the last session how crucial how important the business communication is even whether it is written or whether it is oral communication there is because a certain impact which we always create in any particular type of communication the the topic which you are discussing right now business and the other styles of communication which includes the first one that is about the literary communication literary means based on literature based on documentations okay as i told you that most of the formal communication of business communication it is always done on the basis of you could say written communication okay and these written communication which we are talking right now are based on certain proof certain format and certain way how it can be more impactful now i think if you remember in the last session that we have discussed about the case of jan lee and rodericks okay you can see the example which we have mentioned over here that is the account of jan lee's meeting with carlos rodriguez were part of a novel for example there would almost certainly be a description of the restaurant where they met and rodriguez himself the kind of description is out of the place in the business writing your readers do not have time to read description which have no real bearing on the subject where description necessary it should be factual objective not flary and subjective it means that in the context of business communication if we talk about whenever we are providing any written write ups any written communication to our subordinates to our boss or in the any hierarchy or any level of the organization 
it should be always factual and the objective okay there should not be any flurry or subjective content should be involved that is a very basic fundamental literary writing is usually descriptive and it is proven it is permanent as well in nature so that you always need to be very cautious with your words with your spelling with your grammar with your punctuation whenever you are writing any business documentation clear i think so second point literary writing uses direct speech i think you might know about direct indirect speech okay always remember whenever we are writing any business communication it must be straight forward to the point conceptual based on certain credibility or validation that is the basic important about the direct speech it means that it should not be long as long so that it may actually divert the interest of the reader regarding the actual meaning so it should be precise always precise does not mean that we are talking about short and sweet no the meaning and the purpose should be fulfilled as well whenever we are writing any communication whenever using any words it should have some validation some uh, base to mention into your write up that is about the direct speech content the third and the important one when we discuss about the literary it always actually include the personal feelings as well okay it's always important that whenever you are just providing any business communication it should be based on a brief unbiased to the point and in the context of the business writing these documents should be relevant to the subject matter for which you are approaching to a particular individual it must not have any you could say side wise or beside discussion which may not be the point to be included into your summary report for example you are meeting in the evening with your boss regarding the i could say finalization or hike in the salary of the workers in the company it must not include anything about the tomorrow's meeting yesterday's meeting or any incident happened on a particular day it should be to the point what exactly the criteria what should be the point to be considered and what time we need to meet to meet uh, to actually conclude or to just initiate with that meeting that should be the important point the personal feeling the personal bias the personal approaches should always be avoided in such cases that is about the literary writing introduces personally fe personal feeling but we must know how concrete how particular we need to be in terms of writing a particular content clear i think all these three points the business and the other styles of communication that is literary communication i hope so it's clear everyone you can unmute yes, yourself sir. thank you so much next we have business and the personal style now okay now when it's come to personal style we are talking about the first point the personal communication using the slangs how we can define this you can see that the nomenclature usually what happens sometimes like i i have just given you one example in the last class as well for example if i'm talking to one of my friend through my mobile phones or uh, through uh, any instant message services usually we always use a lot of abbreviations lot of you could say slang language or lot of you could say colloquial language we discussed in the last case as well we always need to avoid the colloquial language or outright slang it should always be avoided okay like in that he is the guy for the job is it the right word to express this okay you can see that in the personal letter she might have said he has got what it takes or he is the guy for the job neither of the expression would be acceptable in the business even when speaking unless of the code the person you are speaking or writing to writing to is a personal friend with whom you have a very informal business relationship no it should not be we must have to avoid all such colloquialism in other business communication that should be the personal communication we all we should not use all such words or all such you could say slangs in the uh, you could say business communication or documentation 
clear, I think, everyone? Yes, sir. Perfect. Next one. The personal communication is subjective. What does it mean exactly? Subjective means what? Because, yes, sir, please, anyone. Subjective means it should be based on some references. It should be based on some context for the purpose of which you are writing that later or you are just mentioning the point. You can see that example again of Jen's case only. There is a personal letter on conversation. Jen might say, I could find it very easy to work with him or I was really pleased when he agreed to our term, etc. But business communication should be more objective. The only relevance your action or feelings have is their impact on the business and the person you are addressing. For example, because definitely the Jan and the Rodriguez might have very good relationship, but it must not reflect into your business communication. Okay, it should be straightforward to the point and the precisely written and must not actually reflect, must not actually uh, uh, you could say represent any communication which is of personal nature. Clear, I think. Uh, okay, sir. Then business correspondence is not read for pleasure. Okay, there should not be any, uh, you could say, any funny, any interesting anecdotes or uh, any, you could say, any word which you mention, whatever it could be. Always remember, whenever you are writing any business communication, it must be for a purpose of information or communication, not for the pleasure, not for the fun, not for the, you could say, uh, a particular leisure, we can say in the organization. And the last one we have, when it's come to personal communication, it must uses some euphemism. What is euphemism, please? Anyone having any idea? It should be exaggerate or uses euphemism. Yes, sir. Anyone having any idea? Would be cunning. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Yes. Uh, your voice is not clear, actually. Sir, is it better? Huh? Uh, Hello. Yeah, Hello? please. Continue. So it can be cunning, sir. Cunning. Jo do matlabi hote hain. Do matlabi yes, words. Cunning, something like cunning, that. Harsh. We can say embarrassing, unpleasant. Embarrassing or unpleasant. Yes, yes, yes. Embarrassing or unpleasant. Okay. So it is very important that, like, for example, if I want to give any warning to my employee or warning to my subordinate, we must not use certain words which may actually pinch him personally, first of all. And there should be a particular formal way through which you always communicate, through which you always express your feeling. In case even if you are very disappointed or you are not happy with, your, uh, with the performance of your subordinate, but there is always a way, a, a, you could say, a, a processing through which you must need to write down the words or you must need to be very particular about what to write so that it must not harm any single individual. Okay. And always one more thing we need to keep in mind, a thing should not be redundant actually. It should not be repetitive actually. Whenever we are writing a letter, it should be to the point and the problem or the concern which you want to raise, it must be mentioned in the business communication only once. There should not be a multiple references of the same thought or same line. There is, there is no, no significance. Ultimately, it will increase the length of the written communication. Nothing else. So that is the meaning of your, the execration or euphemism should be avoided. Clear? that we discuss about the business styles when it's come to personal style or it may be in the context of literary. Okay. So that I think we have completed now and these two activities we have already done. Now we'll start the next topic that is factors affecting communication. Okay. 
so as you can see on my screen there is a very uh, you could say beautiful picture is mentioned let me just enlarge it okay so you can see on this particular picture you may see a lot of internal and external factors are there okay now these internal and external factors which we are discussing right now one minute yes so these internal external factor which we are discussing right now that is about the internal factors some sensory or emotional factors verbal expression and non verbal expression these are the basic factors which may become or which may be the hurdle in the communication okay and that we'll discuss actually one by one over here now before moving further what happened i hope so my screen is visible now yes it's visible yes sir yes so when we discuss about the internal factors okay internal factors of communication would be previous experiences attitude values cultural heritage religious belief self concept listening habits and preoccupations feelings or preoccupation or feelings we talk about. internal factors are basically more about what a particular person perceive in a communication in a conversation in a meeting if you talk about when it's in the context of the business they always have certain predisposition in his mind whenever he or she is appearing for a particular meeting or any formal communication or business communication that is called the internal factors when we discuss about the next part that is about the sensory or emotional factors which may be fear of might be having some uh, a negative comment from the boss some stress you have because of the work pressure some anxiety pain mental acuity brain damage hypoxia side hearing speech impairment okay when we discuss about the uh, you could say the factor because it is basically the emotional factor which we are talking right now these factors are always basically more about the psyche of an individual or what sort of you could say mental uh, availability or mental strength of an individual in a certain sense in a certain situation we can say okay so these are the basically sensory or emotional factor which may become the hurdle in a business communication now make sure this business communication we are not talking about that particular air condition office these business communication may also be in on the factory on on a particular manufacturing unit on a site in the mining in the project whatever it could be these factors are common for all different type of organization then we have the environmental factor that is lighting noise privacy distance temperature definitely it matters a lot when we are talking about the business communication and may become a hurdle as well in between then we have the verbal communication which include language barriers jargons we talk about choice of words which we use in front of an, an individual feedback the tone pitch of an individual non verbal it could be body movement facial expression gesture posture dressing sense professionalism warmth eye contact everything will come under non verbal communication now because of all these various categories of factor which we have mentioned there are certain you could say integration which we have for this factor you can see that first point right now the first factor which affect the business communication is status role i am your boss how we will define this particular situation because sometime you get nervous sometime you hesitate sometime you have some phobia of language phobia of status phobia of level in which you reside to communicate with your boss there may be anything actually like talking a particular uh, student with the faculty or student with the director we are talking to a particular political leader this may be you could say one of the factor which always create a hindrances in the effective communication process any real life example you can quote over here it happens in all organizations actually the status or role हाँ जी एनी वन
yes i think am i audible ha ji status or role ashwin am i audible i think please kindly control yes sir yes sir i mean yes, it is yes ah uh, yeah please this continue so i mean uh, in the past i mean we had situations where i mean uh, in the organization as well as in the school also mm -hmm. we have uh, uh, something which is status role like teachers uh, or the bosses uh, even i think we as an employee also uh, behave in a certain way that when we, whenever we see our bosses we tend to behave and speak differently altogether yes yes so sometimes like even like uh, with with us as well like when we are working in the organization we always have certain sort of we could say hesitation certain sort of we could say dilemma what to say what not to say how he will react or how she will react at that position that status is always actually creating some differences some hesitation some we could say loopholes when what we actually want to present and what actually we are delivering that difference is between these two the deviation between these two is always actually one of the factor of status that may become the hurdle in the effective communication second one is cultural differences okay you know that like each and every organization having their own culture on way to manage the company on way to deal with the clients or way to deal with the colleagues or subordinates that culture always actually define the morale the pace the integration the cohesiveness of an individual and if there are cultural differences are there if you are not in a condition to deal with your colleague and you are just making a differences on the basis of color language religion caste way uh, the like the, the places they belong to minorities lot of things it could be a particular gender you belongs to these basically the factor and it's a real life example we're talking right now it happens in every organization the person always actually deal in a certain sense with a particular image in the mind for an individual and accordingly he or she deals in a certain sense with that particular individual okay and last point is choice of communication what mode of communication or channel of communication which would be appropriate to make the communication or the message most effective this particular choice of communication may be telephonic text memo email face to face letter blogging wikis reports video conferencing whatsoever so always remember which mode would be most most suitable to communicate with your subordinates to communicate with channel partner to communicate with your customer that is one of the most important consideration we need to keep in mind now when we discuss about the key cultural differences which we are discussing actually there are major factors we have okay the first point is concept of self concept of self is what it may include ego it may include collectivism it may include an integration depends on how individual treat in the company whether you have the ego issues definitely you would be quite different as compared to your uh, say your subordinates because you might have certain sort of you could say image issues or uh, certain you could say issues when it's come to your status your financial status we can say as well in the organization the designation we can say that maybe you could say one of the key cultural difference sense of responsibility it may particular personal society or universal it depends on which category you belong according to that definitely the responsibility always uh, you could say provided to an individual then belief about productivity whether it is individual one man army whether it's a harmony it's a process you need to understand actually how we can improve productivity and different individual having different norm different ways how they can interact with the motivational approach whether it is association that the recognition which we got to the team not to the individual or accomplishment whenever we have it must actually must uh, i could say the uh, we can say the appreciation each and every individual must be received those who are the part of that particular team response to ambiguity if we have any risk 
any uh, any you could a dilemma any uncertainty how to deal such situation that you must need to know and that and we know that different individual having different insights about how they deal with certain situations decision making very simple assumption re status okay how we will revive our image because we might have some blunder in the past how we can revive it gender roles gender is very common language is very common communication style verbal space touch pace each and every mode of communication and how we communicate how you present yourself it's actually define the integrity solidarity and the uh, in uh, you could say inclination of an individual towards certain subject matter then we have trust communication holding of belief control orientation spirituality and orientation to time there are lot of lot of factor actually because if we we'll discuss in detail it will take at least one or two lectures to complete these are the basic you could say overview of the key cultural differences which you might have in an organization and every individual having such certain sort of you could say uh we can say predisposition certain sort of you could say style or personality or the way how they are dealing in the organization that is basically the part of overview of key cultural differences any doubt to anyone please what's up so, next one the length of communication it is very very important that for example if i want to explain one topic what do you mean by capital budgeting definitely my communication should be to the point it should be for a particular duration so that it must be easily understood by an individual in a precise way if he or she does not belong to a finance background length of communication is always play a very very crucial role it should not be too long or too brief it should be optimum so that the purpose of communication must be resolved use of language is very important the choice of word the sentences the jargons the idioms which you used it should be prompt and must be understood to the individual disabilities it's very very challenging for us because a person disabled like impaired sight dyslexia uh, sorry dyslexia and poor mental health whatever whatever you could say disabilities which we have whether it is physical disability or mental disability you need to understand the requirement of the recipient and according to that you must need to use a certain way of communicating with that individual whether it's a hearing aid sign languages magnifying system symbols it may be anything so that your communication should be effective and impactful clear i think everyone it's very simple yes sir next one we have known or unknown you can see that whatever communication you have like for example if i'm giving uh, taking a session and uh, i definitely don't know anyone who is in front of me in the in the hall or in the in the could say seminar hall we can say irrespective of whether it is unknown or unknown or unknown you always need to determine you always need to find out what is the best way to communicate first of all when it's come to language body la language means uh, the mode of uh, you could say the words which you use the body language which i have to use the pitch and the and the mode i have to i have to settle first of all along with that it's very very important you must know the background of the audience to whom you are addressing because without having the sufficient knowledge about the background of the audience you may not be able to concentrate yourself up to what extent you need to target or you need to hold or you need to pause yourself during or between your communication pattern in the last one we have individual perception attitude and the personality which actually defines what type of you could say communication you want to address which actually includes about your personality trait age style of communication and according to that your way how you are addressing it's very very different okay next one atmosphere noise and distraction it's very very common yesterday i think we discussed one example itself how the noise restriction and maybe surroundings may become a hurdle clarity of messages definitely whatever 
message we want to communicate it should be clear it should be to the point lack of feedback it's very important that because if you are not getting a feedback for example if i have just completed in this topic right now and if i last is everything clear if there is no feedback it means there is certain things which is not clear the message is not clear the delivery is not impactful and might be there are certain distraction which recipient must face because of that the feedback is not up to the mark or feedback is not prompt we can say from the recipient that is basically the part of your lack of feedback sir any example for the known and unknown see known and unknown, unknown basically what happens sometimes let us suppose in your organization you are dealing with the business partners or with you are dealing with suppliers sometimes what happen like for example you want to purchase a raw material from the market and you have you have invited the suppliers to attend a meeting or we need to have a negotiation or dealing uh, as per the requirement of the company so you are giving a demonstration ji ji yeah you are giving a demonstration for what exactly we want what type of raw material we required definitely it would be an audience in front of me maybe known or maybe unknown but i should know that how many known and how many unknowns we have or is it only the existing one which is sitting in the uh, in the hall or not according to that my communication would be different okay understood right yes sir it is clear i think everyone yes sir please kindly confirm yes. perfect so last topic of the day now then we move to the case study which i have already shared with you the next topic we have that is about the objective of business communication it's very very simple the first and foremost thing a very important point that is just to inform because dissemination of the information is the major or the root cause or root requirement of any business communication just to inform inform means just passing the information from one particular individual to other or passing the data facts figures or the details of the companies you could say set of activities to an individual that is about the passing of information that is called inform second one we have educate now as we do, as we know that like educate means just to enhance the knowledge just to develop certain skills just to train them okay so educate is all about basically just to enhance the knowledge and train is basically just to polish the knowledge okay i think we discussed this example in the last session i think in hrm the difference between edu education and training i think you remember for that i think so yes sir okay next one we have the motivation as we know that like for example if i am giving a lecture on the stress management and there are lot of you could say student those who are attending it online all are having certain level of stress in their personal and professional life what's my purpose is just to take my or just to proceed my lecture in such a manner just to pace up my lecture in such a manner so that it must suffice or must actually fulfill the purpose of conduction of that lecture delivery and the basic motive is just to motivate them just to guide them how they can come out of such stress level in their personal or professional life and how they can actually divert themselves in order to make themselves more productive in the organization that is motivate integrate now now integration is basically is all about the the cohesiveness we can say in the organization as we know that like when we are discussing about like for example a regional sales manager dealing in western zone and in the western zone we have at least 10 to 15 teams are working in the marketing it's very very important that in 10 15 teams having their own bosses and for that 15 bosses we have one boss available integration is basically is all about how we can actually communicate with all those individuals those who are directly or indirectly associated with the regional manager but the important thing is that your communication should be impactful or it should be purposive i i would say better to uh, better to say actually it it must actually bind them towards the fulfillment of the company's objective that is the meaning of integration 
next the relate and connect how we'll discuss about when we discuss about the relate and connect it means that whenever we talk about the issues which the top management always face the irresponsive or you could say the strikes or we may say some uh, you could reluctance from the lower level management in terms of various issues which they arise we always need to relate what exactly the problem they are facing if you won't be able to relate that you might not be able to connect with the actual requirement of your workers relate and connect is basically is all about the we can say just the we could say reason and its solution the cause and its effect that must need to understand by the top manager next promote i think very simple actually promote is basically is all about like we know that four p's of marketing okay under which we have a promotion promotion is basically the about the publicity about how we can make the product more aware in the market and there are different way how we can actually educate inform the customer about the company's product companies offering so that they may they might enforce and attract towards the company's uh, you could say product in the future and the last and the very simple one that is about to entertain okay like it's very common like when we discuss about various roles various group discussion extempor various games we talk about the communication is not about the formal it may be actually for the purpose of some luxury time we can say some fun activity we may actually proceed in the organization which is required in any organization just to keep the uh, you could say the morale of the individual lively and make uh, you could say make themselves motivated on various ground i think uh, i was just uh, uh, watching one of the status of raksha actually she has uh, actually shared one of the stories of tcs about the various activity which they promote okay so one of the important uh, you could say clue which we can generate out of that is about the entertain yes raksha yes sir <laughs> that is the yeah definitely everything actually counts in my lecture delivery so when we come to entertain it's basically is all about how we can engage employees how we can integrate them with various you could say extra uh, you could say curricular or extra activities or eml we can say in the organizations i hope so it's clear yes sir, it's clear but sir uh, the factors affecting communication to right internal external for internal we covered that as uh, emotional and uh, environment factors hmm. and for external which factor external factors so we'll discuss that later on actually okay 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 yeah, sir we'll discuss that because later on i am just going to discuss this particular types of communication in the next class now okay we'll cover it very lengthy topic actually okay so that will start on tomorrow's class okay yes sir perfect So I have just given you one case study, student. I think we will discuss that case now. I have already shared that uh, word file with you. You might have received it. Let me open that over here as well. It's a very simple case study we have. Sir, it's communication failure. Yeah, no, communication failure. Very simple case study we will discuss today. This is a case study actually we have. So, giving you ten minutes of time, seven o'clock sharp, we'll start discussing on that case. Okay.
It's very simple, I think. So giving you five minutes right, for everyone to at least read it once. 655 we can start, I think not 10 minutes, five minutes is sufficient. Yes, sir, completed. Okay. Completed, sir. But there's a calculation error, I guess. I mean, this 645 was earlier plus 12, uh, 1290. So I think that overall it was about 1935, but it's showing mm -hmm. 1900. So I don't know. <laughs> I, actually, I went to calculating the amounts. The first t shirt was at 645 rupees. Yes, and the second was at twelve hundred and ninety rupees. So, so that is thirteen thirty five, nineteen thirty five. Yes. Yes, sir, Mr. Basu. Uh, while he was selecting the pullover, he didn't. Uh, he didn't uh, s s saw that price tag that after discount the price was nine. Mm -hmm. So uh, he was like he. Uh, and his and his and his wife was like he nine fifty is the actual price and twenty five percent on that twenty five percent discount will be given. Mm -hmm. So it was the miscommunication between husband and wife and and in the billing counter also one line I didn't understood sir the person at the billing counter noted an agreement. What agreement? No, no. Actually, he noticed that they were discussing regarding this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, so the, there was one some miscommunication between husband and wife, and Mr. Uh, and wife told that it's just six forty five after discount. So mm. uh, Mr. Basu again uh, took uh, another green color pullover, and he was uh, in a dilemma that yeah, uh, six forty five, six forty five, uh, twelve ninety. He was expecting to pay, but after the bill he received, it was like nineteen hundred. Mm. So uh, uh, yeah, he just paid the bill of uh, nineteen hundred. Uh, 950 each it was a uh, discounted price 950 each mm -hmm -hmm. yes uh, basically in this case study this this is an error first of all regarding this 645 how the 645 came actually okay because that is amount is not possible first of all okay even though like if it is uh, 950 okay and if it is a 20 percent discount after that you will talk about so 950 uh, and this would be 712 rupees Okay, 713 rupees. Okay, so even though it could not be 645, first of all, that is the first error. Okay, second, actually, what exactly we want to do, we have to identify three sources of Mr. Basu's information about the price of the food. Three sources first, wife. So the uh, salesperson, he nodded. He yeah. uh, he didn't went the went for verbal communication. His yeah. sign and gestures he didn't noted, Mrs. Basu, yeah. Mr. Basu. So that was a type of informal communication. Definitely, definitely. And that is more about a non-verbal communication, actually. So that was the main reason. Yes, yes, yes. And he thought that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He thought that. It was in form of sign and gestures. Not see the actual price. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So what are the, uh, like this is a basic first question, very simple actually. This was a main filter involved in this case. Not seen the actual price, mm. that is 12.90. Yes. And discounted price they sold and they again discount in uh, discounted price. Mm. 9.50 they again deducted 25%. Yes, yes, yes. And that was the issue actually. Yeah, it was completely an excitement over a mm. discount and then they, you know, they thought they will have further discount to the discounted product. So there was mm. entire excitement. They forgot to see the label on. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. 
Yeah, even like it happens with us as well. If I have yes, sir. Sometimes. Yes, sir. The world discount. The world discount. The world discount he wants. Twenty five percent plus twenty five percent. Isn't it you? It happens actually. Sometimes I'm just sharing with you because sometimes you receive some discount on your credit card, and some discount the company is already providing. So what the company usually claim that we can provide only one of the discount out of that. But we thrilled and we actually like uh, when we forced to our parents, when we forced to our uh, you could say friends. That we are getting fifty percent discount, twenty percent on the card, and twenty uh, five given by the company. But it is practically not possible. So that is basically the situation which happened with the buses as well. Okay, Hanji. So what should Mr. Basu have done to oh, avoid yes. the misunderstanding? Should have uh, read the price properly. Hmm. Read the price properly and the conditions on which. Uh, uh, yes, price properly along with that. He need terms to and conditions. Yes, reconfirm whether the price which is mentioned on the tag is discounted one or it's the original. Yes. Yeah, yeah. MRP also clearly yes. mentioned. So it happens with me actually many times. Okay, because <laughs> yes, it happens. It happens very everyone I think so I don't know. Sir, so so many. This people. is mall. Mall is happening in mall. Yes, yes, yes. So. So it's everywhere. In yeah. So in D Mart especially. <laughs> Even I think last uh, Monday, like I went to Dmart and uh, we purchased I think something I don't know, uh, tissue paper actually, and that was of two hundred rupees. Buy one get one. So I asked her, is it two hundred for each or hundred uh, each which we need to collect? So she said that sir, if we'll collect one as well, we'll give you hundred rupees. So that clarification you always must need to take from the representatives. True, sir. That's I I recently but, had some like uh, transaction which says fifty uh, percent cash back. And in bracket it mentioned up till hundred rupees. So okay. I <laughs> I ended up uh, spending a lot of money there. Yes, yes, no, sir. Actually, it's really common. Like usually, sometimes it happen uh, when we go for the online shopping. Okay, even in uh, like for Amazon or from Flipkart, when we use the specific card of the ICICI Bank or Axis Bank, or not yes, Axis Bank, they give the discount up to ten percent. Many maximum limit is five thousand or four thousand whatsoever. So that we need to understand. That we need to read it first properly. And that's the reason there is star mark is always there, the asterisk mark is always there. Clear, I think. And the last one, who to blame for this communication gap? Is it uh, Miss Miss Basu, Mrs. Basu, Basu, because he did not see actual price. He just he just uh, seen nine fifty and he said there is a twenty five percent discount on the price. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Culprit, actually, yes. Yes. Reality bites. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Anu, any any incident with you regarding this price tax? So many times in the mall, sir. That just uh, <laughs> because uh, uh, sometimes his price is different. Yes. And after the reach that counter, mm -hmm. then it will clear. Uh, it will clear. This is this. Monu. Hmm. Return back. Sometimes return. No, yes. no, no yeah. need. Yes, yes, yes. It happened many times with everyone. I think so. so I like, think it is mostly happen with the e-commerce company because they only show discount in uh, big, uh, big front, and they show up to the uh, amount is in small front, and they uh, most of the uh, people us forgot to say the up to amount. They show fifty percent, ten percent, but additionally they. Uh, So up to twenty percent, mm. or uh, up to five hundred, they forgot to most of the us forgot to see that. Definitely, definitely yes. But but any house or marketing strategy is very good. Buy yeah. one get uh, buy two and uh, such. Buy one get one free. But price <laughs> include both both of them. The ultimate. No no. When you when you buy one get one free, then in that case. You have to pay complete price of one uh, one one shirt, and when you ah, same shirt and buy in one piece, you get a discount. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's a company. There, yeah, there's a company called Buy One Get Five Free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at five thousand rupees one shirt. So <laughs> technically, you're spending out all, all the five. But all five five shirt price is included in one. True, true, true. <laughs> This is the best, but company strategy for the marketing strategy is very good because five shirt is sale, na? One time. 
true, yeah. true, true. That's the whole the strategy. I think it's also about marketing uh, how they are to create that communication and yeah, uh, right. you know get people excited about it and buy them. Yes, yes. Only, only, only my mind, mind makeup. Give five comes in the one price. One, one buy one get uh, five free. The free word is the uh, attacking on the mind. True, true. Yes. Perfect, five. Perfect student. I think this is a very nice okay. case study we have taken. Tomorrow, I'll just take one case study on the communication gap. Okay, that we'll discuss tomorrow in tomorrow's class, and we'll start. A, we'll start with the next topic that is about types of communication, and uh, we'll take one case study uh, related to communication gap. And I'll just share one class activity today as well in the, by night. Okay. Okay. Sir. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So thank you so much. Please take care and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye. Yes. Take care. Sir. Bye, sir. Take care. Bye. Before leaving, please kindly make sure about Saturday. Thank you, sir. We need to start working on that. Okay, okay sir. Saturday. Bye. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Please take care. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir.